this is a lovely little document the Southwark Council's list of statutory information to which the public is entitled. There's loads of stuff that you're actually allowed to see that you have a right to find out about. Um, from where the hazardous waste or radioactive materials is stored and licensed in your area, to personal files that social services have, to unregistered land, to also to the register of interest for your council uh, elected members. But there's also a rather lovely thing here, and this, this booklet, by the way, is so good that we're actually going to put it on the internet, because all, all this applies not just to Southwark, but to, to everyone's council. Um, there's a lovely thing here, the Local Government Finance Act 1982, Section 17. What it means is any member of the public for two weeks of the year is allowed into the council offices and can get any receipts and paperwork about their accounts for that year. You can ask to see for the uh, councillors' receipts for all their expenses. You can ask to see um, the expenses for any developments done in the area, for conferences, for an anything. Um, and they have to give it to you. Not only do they have to give it to you, they have to let you copy it and go away. And then at the end of the two weeks where you're allowed in to have a look at things, if you found something that's gone astray, you can go and visit the auditor who will be at the council and you've got a right to talk to them for, uh, and tell them what's been going on. Now. This, obviously, there are some councils which are slightly more open than others. Um, we found a, a couple down in Wales called the Frankhams, Mr and Mrs Frankham, and they actually found that their council, Ebba Vale, weren't quite as open as Southern, and um, they actually found that they weren't actually quite as, as clean as they should be. Fighting the council is worse than fighting anything. The laws these people got to protect them is unbelievable. Glenys and Colin used the Local Government Finance Act to inspect council financial records. Their three-year campaign resulted in the conviction of 12 Blanagwent councillors for falsifying their expenses. One councillor, they had an election in between the time that he was charged to the time he went to court. And he was going around telling uh, the people in his area, you know me, you know me, honest as a day is long. I won't let you down, you know me. As soon as he got back in and went to court, he pleaded guilty as charged. <laughs> But if there's if there's nothing to nothing to hide you, when you just and the deputy mayor and the deputy mayor, and they're all doing community and the service of the because council. of what they have And the leader of the council, them. we've done it because we knew that we were right. Oh, yeah. So this law, basically, the, the important point here, though, is that anyone can use it, and it applies to all uh, local governments. Yes. Yeah. But this is incredible because it now the precedent you've set, you've actually shown that. Ordinary people can go into the yeah. council offices and say, I demand to, the right to inspect all of your accounts and I want to know exactly what you've done with my money. Yes. Yeah, yeah.